The example that I use the most is that I'm left footed and obviously I can't see out of my left eye so I've had to change my body position a little bit and how I kick. Another little thing uh, in terms of like catching a ball, you know, most people just wait for the ball to come to you. Uh, a doctor once told me to actually put my hands towards the ball. So when you're catching it, so you keep them in your, in your vision and you put it towards you, which is a, you know, a little thing that helps me. So, but again, you try not to go away from, you try not to go away too much from what you, you believe is right. The main thing is you're like, what, it's kind of almost like, what, what would that feel like playing the game like that with sight in one eye? Um, and having the, the goggles on as well at the same time. So um, to see, just to, to sort of try and visualize what that would actually be like. Um, you know, so in terms of your awareness of space, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so just, it's just respect for you. Like you have just such respect for the guy in terms of like what he's achieved. Um, yeah, incredible. The most challenging of, of uh, skill sets under pressure is goal kicking and to almost change how you stand, how you look at a ball and to be at the level he does is, is remarkable. I remember talking to Joe about him a couple of years ago, uh, you know, after a game, Joe Smith and, uh, you know, he was, the no doubt, without injury, he was destined for very, very, very big things uh, within, within the Irish system. Um, but Ian got dealt a set of cards and, his reaction to it's been incredible. The ladder I suppose that I've climbed in, in Italian rugby has been a, a long one um, but from going with my club uh, in Udine where I coached and then sort of played I, I managed to get it uh, out of my contract for the last year because I said right I want to go back into professional rugby. I went and got myself an agent and he managed to get me into a team called Rugby Vidana, who play in the top 10 of Eccellenza, so it's the main league of club teams in, in Italy. And I think that summer, when I trained with semi-professionals, professionals, and I knew that my level was just as good as them, for me, that was the, how can I describe? That was the moment that I knew that I was doing the right thing, that the goggles were good, physically, mentally I was absolutely fine and that was a moment that gave me huge confidence and re relief. And in that second year, uh, during the World Cup, uh, Treviso and Zebre needed permit players. Um, so Zebre, I was actually living close to where Zebre is based, which is in Parma. I actually lived about five minutes away from the stadium and uh, they called me up and said we need backup 10 and I played my first game back in the Pro 12 against the Scarlets and so that made me the first ever player to play in the Pro 12 with protective eyewear.